everybody and welcome back. It's your favorite real estate investor, Nick Kalfas. Today, I'm gonna go over a couple of things with you and I'm doing this for you guys and I see you guys out there. I know you can do this too. Today, I'm gonna go over the two ways that you can buy rental properties. One way is you can buy a turnkey property. What is a turnkey property? A turnkey property is a property that you buy and you can move a tenant right into it. Sometimes a turnkey property may already have a tenant in the place. You might not have time to go through the process of buying a property and renovating it yourself. You might be super busy with your job, your business, that that's the best option for you. Number two is the Burr method. The Burr method is the buy, renovate, rent, refinance, repeat. You know, you buy a house that needs a lot of work, renovate it, refinance, repeat. So now the question is which one is a best fit for you? And in order to determine that, you have to look at your goals and determine how many rental properties do you wanna own? How many do you wanna buy each year or every other year? For example, if you wanna buy one to two properties every year or every other year buy one to two properties, the perfect method for you may be a turnkey property. And here's why, because when you buy a turnkey property, you go directly to the bank to purchase that property. A lot of times, most of the time, if not all the time, you have to put down 25% of the purchase price. For example, if you buy a property for $100,000, you have to put $25,000 down on that property. If you buy a property for $200,000 and you buy it as an investment property, you're more than likely you're gonna have to put down 25%, which is $50,000. And that's a lot of money just to throw down on one property. But if your goal is to buy one or two a year or one or two every two years, that may be the best option for you. On the other side of things, if you wanna grow and scale quickly, and let's say you wanna buy five to 10 properties a year, the best method may be the Burr method. Because if you do buy five to 10 properties a year, let's say if you buy 10 a year using the turnkey method, and every property is $100,000 on the lower end, that means you have to put out $250,000 in cash that year just to buy those 10 properties. The easier route would be using the Burr method if you wanna buy a lot of properties in one year. And the Burr method helps you out because you're able to force the appreciation. And you may ask, what does that mean? Well, you buy a property that needs a lot of updating, a lot of work, and because you rehab that property, you force the value of it. Let's say you buy it for 50,000, you put $50,000 into it, you're all in 100, 110,000. That property may be worth 150,000. So that's equity, that's sweat equity because you were able to build that house up to a very good condition and build that equity into it. So back to, back to the two ways, Burr method, turnkey properties, focus on your goals and where you wanna be. You guys out there, you guys can do this. You guys can do this. So you really have to zone in on what it is you want to accomplish. And back to, as I mentioned, if you want to buy one or two a year, you may want to buy a turnkey property. If you don't have time to manage, manage you know, the contractors to, to find the deals and all that, it might be easy for you just to go to the MLS, buy a property. But the most important thing is that the property is cash flowing and that you're comfortable with it. So again, those are the two ways that you can find or that you can buy real estate is through the Burr method or turnkey. And I want you guys to stay tuned. If you guys like this video, give me a like, give me a follow, and also put in the comments if you think I missed anything or if you wanna add anything or if you wanna see something in my next video, leave it in the comments. I'll talk to you guys soon. Financial freedom is when your monthly passive income exceeds your monthly expenses. I see a lot of people all the time, they go out and buy cars, clothes, jewelry, all sorts of stuff before they even think about buying an asset. You know what happens after they do that? They drain all...